Hey everyone, this is Ronald Damp back here at the Reptile Super Show in Pomona. And the lines are incredibly long, oh my gosh. And uh, we have 10 minutes to go until we get in. Just wanted to kind of uh, tell you guys I'm really excited. I just met one of my YouTube subscribers, Patrick. Uh, he walked up to me and said, hey, are you Ron? I said, yeah. I said, wow, cool, man. I mean, it's pretty cool to meet one of my subscribers. It's my first time. And uh, him and his girlfriend here, Patrick and Kelsey, are also at the show. Hello. So if you guys want to show them some love on their Instagram channel, it's Patrick. It's uh, Colin Reptiles. Colin Reptiles. Colin underscore Reptiles. Colin underscore Reptiles. And I'll put that link in the description below. All right, show them some support. Appreciate it. And uh, that's it. So today we're going to be doing some... Um, we're going to be asking everybody what their goals are for 2019. And my goals for 2019 are to build my collection, uh, keep my animals healthy, and um, basically that's it. So we will see you guys inside. But before you do that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like what you're seeing, and don't forget to hit that bell down below so you know when I upload videos. All right, I'll see you guys inside. Hey everybody, quick little interjection. Uh, while I was watching my intro to getting into the reptile show while I was staying in line, I was giving you guys my goals and I didn't really like the way they came out. My goals for 2019 are to breed my snakes, to get my snakes to lock up coming this January and February. So we'll keep my fingers crossed and hope it works. Hope, I mean, never done this before, so this is a learning experience for me. And also, I didn't even ask what everyone else's goals were for 2019. I, you know, I meant to do that in the very beginning. Uh, so what is everyone else's goals and aspirations in regards to herpiculture for 2019? If you guys comment below while you guys are watching this video, if you, you know, feel free to throw down some comments and, and let me know what you, what you guys have in store, what, you, what your ideas are for the next coming year. All right, enjoy the rest of the video, thanks. Hey everybody, we're still waiting in line to get into this place and I'm um, here and I just recognized somebody from YouTube, uh, Andy Gabs. You guys may have seen him before uh, doing various uh, reptile co uh, collaborations with uh, Brian Barczyk and, uh, and, and Miguel Garcia from Always Evolving Pythons. But here he is here. And I What's ahead, up guys? I went ahead and asked him what his 2019 goals are in regards to herpiculture. So 2019 goals. Right now I live in a place that doesn't allow me to have reptiles because of our HOA. We're just not allowed to do it. So my goal for 2019, buy a house and start my collection again and predominantly get a croc monitor. A crocodile monitor would be my, my dream animal for 2019. Hopefully I can make that happen. Croc monitor is definitely cool. Yeah. Hey, oh, there's Brian Custer. <laughs> oh, you bastard. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, so, there was Brian Cusco. That was Brian Cusco. Yeah, just coming. He's doing his little. He's doing his thing too. So, all right, everyone. If you guys haven't already subscribed to Andy Gab's channel, it is Andy Gab's. Andy Gab's. A N D Y space G A B B S. And I will provide that link in the description below. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
All right, you guys know I love books, and I saw this this table here with all these cool reptile books. Let me just give you a quick look at what I see here. The Book of Snakes by Mark, Mark O'Shea. You know that's a good one. Anyways, I'm a geek when it comes to stuff like that. Books that you can't really find in some places, and some of them are, uh, there's some old books here that are used and maybe out of print, and uh, that's just some really cool stuff, man. Knowledge is, is reptile knowledge, you know, you, you can't beat a book, let's say that, right? It's just, it's just, that's what I like. Anyways, onward. to it I would say you know for the most part is is definitely to keep showcasing people and, and start just man in Harvard's culture that's a that's a big question man that's a big question I know and I caught you off guard I didn't, give, right, I didn't I, give you a chance to like prepare for it it's not I don't need to prepare for it it's, it's a, basically to keep doing more of the same what I've been doing and do it on a bigger get reach more people reach more people and on you, both sides both on the audience side and on the side that you know, I'm going to record people and, and I'll just get more exposure to everybody and everything that isn't great about this hobby. Awesome, and what you do is awesome, so that's, that's a good thing. So, thank you very much. Hey, you guys haven't subscribed to his channel already. This is Brian Cusco. He's at Brian Cusco YouTube and also Triple B TV. That's Both right. his channels are really awesome. I subscribe, you guys should too. Thanks a lot. Thanks, bro. California and they produce eastern indigo snakes, black Karibos, and all of the like. So I'm gonna try to get a chance here to talk with these guys because I love eastern indigos, man. They're just, and if you live in California, you don't have to have permits to get them. You can just buy them as long as they're local here. Um, there are certain laws that I'm not really for sure 
uh, what, what, what they are, but I know that you have to have a permit if they go across state lines because the eastern indigos are protected. But if you live in California like me, you don't have to. I can just purchase a snake right out and have it as a pet. So let's take a look and see what they have. Central American cousin to the Eastern Indigo, which most people have heard of, but this is uh, not quite as common. So uh, we, 2019 goals is to continue producing these uh, in various colors and sizes and so forth. Um, and a few side projects that we're working on, we're working on producing Galapagos tortoises, we're working on producing some of the Mexican tiger rat snakes and barons racers. Um, uh, that w some of those would be first times for us, so uh, hopefully 2019 will be a good year for us. Awesome, thank you very much. And you guys should check out their website, blackpearlreptiles.com. Uh, if you live in California, you can own one of these indigo snakes, eastern indigo snakes, and the like without having to have special permits. Am I correct? That's right. The permits that are needed would be to buy or sell them across state lines. So if I live in California, you live in California, I can sell you an eastern indigo without a permit. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Perfect. Take care. Have a good one. Yeah. Everyone, I found them. Dave Kaufman. Here he is. How's it going, guys? And uh, Dave, what is your goal for 2019 in regards to herpiculture? I am going to travel the world as I do, and I'm going to find more species that are more commonly kept in our domestic situations. I'm going to find them in the wild and continue to make videos on how they're living in the wild and what they're doing in the wild so that we can better know how to care for them in our domestic situations. That's my goal as it was last year, and that's my goal as it is this year. Awesome. As you guys know, Dave Kaufman, he has a couple channels. He has Dave, Kauf Dave Kaufman. Dave Kaufman's vlogs. Vlogs. Yeah, yeah. And then he also has Dave Kaufman's Reptiles Adventures, which used to be known as Herper's TV. Right. And uh, if you guys haven't already, go to his, his channels. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I do. And I love watching his field herping expedient, uh, uh, adventures. Uh, it's something that, man, like, for example, the Peru Adventure is something that I'm looking forward to be planning on doing. He's done it. He has a whole series of videos on that. Check it out. Subscribe to his channel. Show him some love. You won't regret it. Thank you, Thank man. You. I appreciate that. I found it. Rainbows are us. I've been looking for his table now. I think I walked around it like 100 times before I finally found it. So we're going to take a look and see what he has here. He has a very nice, nicely lit display table with a lot of cool stuff.
Dave Collings, he is the owner of Rainbows Are Us, and he is where I received my snip or my rainbow bowls from, and he is an outstanding individual. Dave, what is your goals for 2019 in regards to herpiculture and what you're doing? Continue on the captive propagation and uh, of the genetics that I've been working on. Um, rainbow bow specifically, there's a lot of new things going on like the albino and some of my stripe line projects, the super candy stripes, none of those have ever been offered for sale because I haven't been able to produce them. I kept them all so that I could produce more when I actually do produce them. Um, 2019 goal is to get those off and running and lots more of them available for people to buy. Cool. So have, what, which of those genes are, have been proven out, which ones haven't been proven out, you're kind of still waiting on? Well, the Super Candy Stripe is basically proven out. Um, there's still a couple of breeding trials that, that should be done to totally prove it out. But it, it's every breeding trial has followed uh, incomplete dominant trait. Um, albinism, that's almost a given that proves out. It's always recessive. Um, and again, everything with it has shown it to be that case. The only things that haven't been done and can't have been done yet is albino to albino because there's only one adult albino. The first one. We're just getting to the point where the first generations of captive-born visual albinos are reaching adulthood. Okay. Soon there'll be a fair number of adult albinos, but right now, Gotcha. That, and there's the, that's, the, 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 that's why you see the big price tag on them, is exactly. because of the availability. Because it's, it's, it's the first generation of visual visuals available anywhere. Okay. Well, cool. Dave, I won't take any more of your time. I know you got customers coming around the table here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Nice seeing you. You too, Ron. HC Premium Reptiles, and this is a beautiful, what kind of boa is this? A sun glow? Sun glow boa. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And very docile. Very. And then we even have a little baby one over here. Oh, yeah, a little baby one. Who's this? This is Evangeline, and this is her bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah, because she looks like she has little bubbles. Oh, yeah. Really caught my attention here. I mean, look. It's a cage on top with misting, misters uh, attached inside, lockable front doors, similar to what you'd see like on an Exoterra. Um, top, very, very, very similar, very nice construction. And then down below, our individual tubs on the rack system. With nice sliding rack feature. And then this one over here actually has these are built in heating pads. Very similar to what you see on like a Freedom Breeder or an ARS, except they're, it's a plastic, it's a plastic uh, covering insert with foam insulation. And then here's your cord that attaches to it with the plug, and you can plug it into your thermostat. I like these, these are 
Cool. These are these guys are out of China, I guess. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm getting that information right now. This is your name, sir. Ah, uh, Leo. Leo. Yes. yes. Here is my name. Okay. And he's in your. You guys are trying to get a facility down here in Los Angeles. Uh, try to uh, set up a warehouse here. Now we just want to find uh, some distributors in USA. So we are the number one brand in China. So we also want to promote our brand in US. Awesome. That's really good. And I, you know, guys, I, I've been seeing a lot of, I've been seeing a lot more, a lot more reptile collaboration with China. I know it's. We see a lot of stuff from Thailand, Malaysia, uh, and other places like that. But China is something you know that I really I'd like to see a lot more of uh, us herpiculturists collab with people from China and be able to you know connect and and share our passion of reptiles with them. And this is really exciting to be able to see these tanks and these cages. These are unique. These are not these are uh, cages and rack systems I've never seen before, and they look really cool. And uh, I'm glad I stumbled upon these guys and uh, was able to talk to them. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. So yeah, that was Leo with Reptizoo. They're a new company, and I'm man, it's just really cool. I'm gonna show you a little bit of their of the product they have here on the table. down I just picked up my new cocoa husk bedding I purchased from I don't remember I'll have to do a review on that later but cocoa husk and I'm making my way back towards the building I think I'm just about done this show is actually ginormous I forget how big this Pomona show is there's so much to look at I'm just passing by everything right now just kind of going duh but uh, yeah, I think I got some good coverage. I mean, like I said, this place is so big and there's so much going on, I just don't even know. All I know is I'm, I'm hungry. And my brain's starting to not work, so. That's it. I'm gonna continue on. I might show you a little bit more here in a second. Hey, um, also, I wanted to mention, I uh, forgot to, I talked to Jay, Jay and Lori, uh, Zellweger, I'm looking to make sure I get their name, let your guys' last names right. Zellweger from um, Arabesque and more. I forgot to come, I didn't get a chance to come back by your guys' booth. I wanted to get a, a, you know, a chance to talk to you some more, Jay and Lori, but I, you know what, things were so nuts there. I just, I was making my way back out and my hands were full with all the stuff I bought and uh, you were like still busy when I was passing by. So, no big deal, I will catch up with you guys in the next show. Um, and whoever else I didn't get a, a chance to talk to. All right, guys, now I'm out of here. We are outside the building, as you can see. And uh, dude, there's still a long line and people playing music and all kinds of crazy stuff. But I am exhausted, I'm tired. It's a couple hours, I'm good, go. 
Got my last interview with Dave Collings from Rainbows R Us. I'm happy. And uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all my subscribers. Thanks for all my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, you guys have an awesome day. Make the day count and have fun doing it. See you guys later. It's no use living if you're already there. It's not worth saying if it's already said. Even if it all goes over your head. Believe it if you want.